So I'm just honestly, <laughs> listen, I just want to start off by saying I'm in a good place. I'm in a really good place. And I think it shows in my face. I'm in a really good place. And listen, this is my final, final response to the girl that shaped like a fucking, let me not even go there. But to that bitch, this is the response video. I would absolutely love, absolutely love to see your response to this. Because as of last night, you've gone completely silent. And I wonder why. I am going to let this situation go because <laughs> I got what I needed. I already proved to you how she's a liar. Like, I never had a reason to worry in the first place. I really never had a reason to. And I always made that clear. Never had a reason to because what would I be gaining from lying about this? Let me just start with that question. Uh, then also let me tell you this. Um, there's literal proof. Proof. I have said it so many times. I even have screenshots of me asking her, atting her, you know, so this bitch directly got the messages saying, what proof do you want to see? Do you know what she does as well? She selects what screenshots she's going to show you because the screenshots that she hasn't took are screenshots where I'm giving her actual information, actual facts, actual proof. It's literally right there in front of her eyeballs and she still denies it. She, <laughs> she frazzles this girl, this bitch, this bitch frazzles my brain cells. I don't know how she doesn't see, either she really, really doesn't see where she fucked up. <laughs> either she really doesn't see that or she's narcissistic to the point where <laughs> she just chooses not to see that. <laughs> I mean, whatever knocks you bought, you know, because that's that ain't my issue. Not only is the screenshots, there's witnesses I can name drop if you want me to do that too. <laughs> there's medical records if you want those too. There's the live stream that she has saved, or I'm assuming she has saved, because I'm assuming that's what you, Holine, showed to the police. You know, the police that we also have the screenshot for you saying that you've never called on me. But literally yesterday in the comment section and you didn't think that information would get sent to me, you admitted you'd been on to the police and you'd been on to them again. Or should we talk about last night on my story? Because I know you screenshotted it, but you only screenshotted certain things. And I'm glad you screenshotted your very own lies that you told. I'm so happy you did that with me pointing out to everybody where you lied at. So, you know, those screenshots that you took last night... Those ones, well, you need to go back and you need to take every single screenshot that I posted and you need to go and post that out. And I would love more than anything to see what this girl has to say now. I would absolutely love it. Because I can promise you 100%, I never lied, not a second. I told the absolute truth and nothing but the truth completely completely and I told you and I tried to be nice telling you yeah my mouth be crazy at times when you set me off and you really take me there my mouth be crazy at times but you know why I'm so happy and I'm so vindicated right now and I feel so good it's because you did this to yourself babe all I gotta say is if you this is another lie I'm just about to expose really quickly right and I don't need no motherfucking receipts for this line. But if you re if your cousin getting a really new anybody I knew, A, I can promise you they wouldn't give you my address. Even though you already have my address. So if you already have my address, why would you need it? Uh, you apparently got your address. Uh, your mum got your address from the police. Don't see how that works. Uh, but the police never turned up. But you don't call the police. Like, Do, do you know what I mean? Uh, make it make sense. So you need to go back and seriously screenshot everything. Screenshot everything that was said and please post it. Please do. Post away. Oh, and another thing. Here's textbook manipulation. Textbook, textbook narcissism and text like gaslighting right here for you. 
She knows I'm banned off Facebook currently for 28 days. It was like a 30, a 30 day ban, something like that. Uh, it's 27 days now. And this bitch was the one who decided to mutually consent the whole time. Let me explain mutual consent to you and a little bit of the law because this bitch is really dumb and somebody really, somebody really needs to break this down to it because she just can't see. Unbothered energy over here, honey. There's proof. You're a liar. <laughs> that's all you've ever been. Point out to me, I also want to know this too. Textbook narcissism, that's where I was. Right, what she did was she actually decided to write a post about me when I hadn't written a post about her because I was banned off Facebook after I'd written what I'd written at first because I did write some posts originally. And then this bitch wrote a status too. And then I ended up being banned. But then the next day, she wrote another status about me and it was screenshotted and sent to me. Okay, that's how I got that. And she is so bad to be the victim. She is dying so bad to be the victim. It doesn't work. You can't mutually consent to a situation, meaning you cannot sit there and entice someone. You cannot sit there talking crap back to somebody, giving your address out, uh, enticing a situation, asking me for my address. You can't feed into a situation. You're mutually consenting there. That's why the police won't do anything. Because you're talk just as much shit and then you back down and then when you feel like you've got balls again and you've got your clan behind you, that's when you rise up again and then you get shut right back down. Like, come off it, we can all see it at this point. And this is laughable, she's still not answered this question. What weak, fake, scared bully do you know? I'm a bully, but there's no victims at all. There's a completely, a roasting somebody is completely different to bullying somebody. Clowning somebody is not bullying somebody. Mooning somebody is not bullying somebody. You need to learn the English language. Do you want my thesaurus? Do you want my dictionary? Do you want a law book? Do you want a bundle? Let me know. Answer the questions. Isn't it funny? I'll point this out too. There's apparently, she doesn't know what I'm talking about, right? That was one thing she went with because what she was trying to do was throw um, every excuse at the wall and see what stuck in order to try and shut me up, right? Never worked. Like I said, you're in quicksand this whole time. You're sinking. You're trying to throw stuff to stick at that wall, but nothing's sticking. So let me just give you a little something else. By the way, my version of what happened, if I'm playing devil's advocate, my version of what happened's been out there for a very long time. Y'all can literally find it on this very channel. Y'all can go back and read through years of post. You can go and see when I've explained trauma, when I've explained a traumatic experience in my life that happened to me, which I can talk about, by the way. I am perfectly entitled to talk about that. You or anybody else cannot stop me from talking about that just because you don't like what the fuck I'm saying. It doesn't work like that. This is a free country. I can speak my opinion. I'm allowed to talk about what I went through. Whether you like it or anybody else like it, I don't care because that's not any of your business. Me telling my story is for my sake and nobody else's. So deal with it. So I want to point out another situation. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. She claims that she's she's completely clueless. All y'all need to do is go to the video on this channel where I confronted one of the people that jumped me. And their exact words when I confronted them was, we're adults now, it's time to move on. That's a little incriminating, if anything. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Hmm. How come she never want to talk about that situation? Hmm? I wonder why. If I'm lying, show me where I'm lying. Same way I've just shown everybody where you're lying. Show me what I'm lying. You can't do that though. See? Shit don't stick. Shit don't stick. And literally I want to say this too because this is how much of a liar I am. If anyone wants any kind of proof, whatever proof you want regarding this situation, let me know. 
And Jolene, if you've got any bowels about you, you will share this video. I dare you to. I want you to share this video. I want you to share this video. If I'm, if I'm such a liar, share the video. Point out to me where I'm lying. Bear in mind, I have a whole lot of receipts. Are you sure you want to keep going there? Are you sure you want me to put it all out there? Because I'm trying, I'm still trying to be nice. I'm still, just, listen, as much as I roast this bitch, as much as my temper, which by the way, let me explain that. I haven't been angry the last three days. The first day she, she got me mad. Past three days, I have literally started toning on my stomach from laughing. No word of a lie. Dada, serious. So if anybody wants any proof, just hit my number up. Leave a comment under this video. You can, when I'm unbanned off Facebook in 27 days, you can always leave a comment on any of the posts that I posted. Or you can go and leave comments on her status. You know, seeing as she likes to write statuses about me. And I, I never like to write statuses about her. What, see, what messes with me is bullshit. What messes with me is people that are dishonest. What messes with me is people that have got so much to hide that at this current moment in time, she's silent. She's dead silent. Why are you so quiet if you ain't got nothing to hide? That's what I want to know. You, you never can win when you play dirty. See, that's why I was never phased. I was blessed. And I was chilling. I really was, like, genuinely. I was enjoying myself. I've been out sunbathing. I've been looking after my nephew. I've been spending time with my family. I've been talking to my friend, like I've been chilling, I've been working, I've been editing, I've been planning the series, which let's address this series is not about you, baby girl. <laughs> Bitch, the first series was absolutely, which I also posted. So don't flip it and make it seem like I'm a stalker because let me answer this question. <laughs> no, let me ask you this question actually. If I'm a stalker, how come I didn't find anything out about you properly? Like, meaning your locations, your place of work, the locations you be at, those three things. I didn't find those out until two days ago. Two, three days ago. Maybe, maybe four days. I don't know because I can't remember exactly when I posted don't support the bully thing. I don't remember exactly what day that was, but I would say between two and four days. <laughs> make it make sense. And if I've got so much to hide, girl, my information, I literally posted a whole bunch of information that you could use against me. I literally said, you can post that about me. <laughs> There's the tea on me from me. If that makes you feel a little better, put my shit out there. Oh, wait, you see, here's another example of proof and honesty and authenticity. I put my shit out there myself. And all the shit that the bitches ever talk about me is stuff that y'all got from me, is stuff that I put out there by myself, is stuff that y'all found in my bio, is <laughs> stuff that y'all would have no idea about unless I told y'all, willingly, unbotheredly, authentically, honestly. Make it make sense, Jolene. My series, this one, is not about you. As y'all can clearly see, if I have a series to do about her in the future, which I don't, this is your one and only video that you're getting from me. Mm -hmm. Because I, I really want you to share this. I really do. This series is called Suha, A Look Inside My Mind. This current series, not this video, because this video is not a series. This video is strictly a video. The series before, the, the video before this, is a series. And what is it called? Just answer that question. It's called Suha, a look inside my, I'm Suha, hello, mind. We're, we're covering a whole range of topics. Now let me break down the series for you, Jolene, because clearly you don't know how I work. Maybe you need to go through my content and actually watch how I do my series. You're gonna see it's well thought out. It's well planned. And you're going to see that I can talk about my experiences in life. There's going to be every experience in my life, good, bad, 
right, wrong, ugly, everything that makes me about me is included in that series. I posted one chapter and I've got that bitch that mad from one chapter and from this video because I can guarantee you when she watches this video she's going to be fuming because she's been exposed <laughs> and y'all have caught on with me which mwah, love y'all for that. This series is going to be 16 chapters and I can promise you right now not one of them involve the name Jolene. The only thing that you can find in this series that's upcoming Episode one's out now, by the way. Go and check it out. Oh, the only thing that's in this series is about traumatic events that relate to that day. I'm speaking about those days and the aftermath. But, bitch, I'm not even mentioning names. I'm not even mentioning names. So why, where have you got the I'm posting another video about you from? <laughs> Stop it. So, anyway... I just wanted to come clarify that shit up <laughs> and say thank you to y'all that did believe me. I didn't need public uh, opinion. I didn't need the public to believe me anyway because I knew I was telling the truth all along. Um, and we've all seen. And it's hilarious. And that's all I got to say to her. She's not worth me touching. Because she knows she could never fuck with me. She's not worth touching. So you don't have to worry about me putting my hands on her. For the people that have told me, don't fuck up your own blessings by putting your hands on her, you don't even got to worry. <laughs> you don't got to worry about that. I have no intention on putting my hands on her. None whatsoever. She made herself look stupid. <laughs> so, share the video, Jolene, if you ain't got nothing to hide. And thank you for watching, because this is one for the books.